My name is Dr. Carrie Purdy, and I'm a dermatologist in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Some patients with atopic dermatitis can manage well with just moisturizing and medicated creams. However, there are patients who have more severe involvement and may need to consider a systemic medication. Typically, when patients need a systemic medication, they're referred to a certified dermatologist and they can talk to us about those different options. The good news is there are now indicated treatments specifically for atopic dermatitis. At this time, there are two classes of systemic medications approved for atopic dermatitis, biologics and oral JAK inhibitors. Biologic medications are approved for moderate to severe atopic dermatitis and they're given by needle. Biologic medications work well for atopic dermatitis because they're targeted towards the inflammation that you see in the condition. They tend to decrease redness, irritation, itch, and overall improve quality of life in patients. An oral JAK inhibitor is a type of medication used to treat moderate to severe atopic dermatitis. It's a pill that you take by mouth. Oral JAK inhibitors work very quickly and they do this by targeting multiple parts of the inflammatory pathway and decrease the overactive immune system in atopic dermatitis. These medications are relatively new and so it's important to talk to your specialist about what potential risks there could be and what monitoring will be required. Of course, there are pros and cons with starting any new medication and it's important to talk to your specialist about those and what it means for you. The good news is there's a number of therapeutic options available for atopic dermatitis with more to come. And for patients that are worried that they may never get better, there's hope. If you have moderate to severe atopic dermatitis or your child or loved one does and you're simply not getting better, you can turn to your specialist, your dermatologist, your allergist, or your pediatrician to discuss what your options might be.